dead draw gaming. Like no one ever was. What's up, dead drawers? We are back. It is day 11. What? That's two ones. This is two, but if you put two of these as one, that's two ones. That's day 11. We're back with day 11. I told you earlier in the week that we would do a couple more serious videos. Um, this is one of them. This isn't like overly super serious, but I just want to give you guys an update because there's been a lot of comments. Uh, it's like you guys are psychic. Aaron wasn't even here like a whole lot. Um, because he was always, you know, he was busy. Like he was kind of more of our behind the scenes editing, uh, helping out with pack openings. We haven't had pack openings for a while. How are you guys so smart? You guys are so smart. Um, so yes, uh, Aaron is no longer with Dead Draw Gaming. Um, Aaron is literally literally like a brother to me like Aaron is family um, Aaron has moved back to Denver I'm sure that he will let everybody know what's going on when he's ready uh, he's in a really good place right now he is ready to fire on all cylinders and unfortunately that meant passing of the tide uh, passing of the time as far as Dead Jar Gaming was concerned which is totally cool there was no hard feelings whatsoever he did an amazing job when he was here he brought a lot to the table he gave us some amazing ideas some like inspiring ideas Aaron is just a naturally born super gifted individual um, and I wish him all the best of luck uh, as he continues his journey on content creation and I know he's got some amazing stuff in store for you guys coming up uh, I still talk to him literally every day like I said dude is dude is like a brother to me like he is family um, it just wasn't this wasn't his thing, and that's totally fine. This is this is my thing, um, and this is Darren's thing, and this is Dan's thing, but it wasn't necessarily Aaron's. And we had this great idea when he came in, and when he came on board, uh, that never really came to fruition. Part of the reason is because I live, I know there were comments before about like, why don't you guys record together so much? Well, we all have full-time jobs. <laughs> we all have people we have to take care of, and we live far away from each other. So it's difficult for us to get together all the time uh, Dan and Darren live uh, closer together, about 20 minutes away from each other. I'm more like two hours away. So for them to come down uh, after work is a little bit more of a struggle. We try and do it a few times a month uh, just to get together. And uh, we're going to start doing that more often uh, and actually show it. Uh, but that, in order for the whole content thing to work, um, it, just, it just wasn't there. Uh, and some of the passion wasn't there. And that's kind of where the parting of the ways went um, as far as Pokemon goes as far as Dead Jar Gaming goes and like I said I wish him all the best of luck he's an amazing dude like I said he's family to me um, pay attention to him he's gonna go some amazing places and I'm gonna do my best to try and keep up with him uh, I wish him all the best I love that guy and I know you guys do too um, and I know a lot of you guys came to Dead Jar Gaming because of Aaron um, and continue to follow him if even if that means like parting of the ways from you guys following our content we're going to keep giving you Pokemon content, we're going to keep giving you gaming content, and we're going to move forward with that. Uh, best of luck to him. I'm still going to keep working with him all the time. Legendary Gaming Network is still a thing. Aaron is still very much involved with that, so you will still see him in vlogs and upcoming stuff. I'm still going to get together with him, we're still going to hang out, we're still going to do stuff. He's just not going to be part of Dead Jar Gaming. So, he will still be in Hartford, Connecticut for our next regional event. He'll be behind the booth, running the LGN stream. He's going to crush it. He'll be in Madison. So hopefully you guys come to Madison. He'll crush Madison. Um, we, sorry, Aaron, I know you're watching. We will crush Madison and Hartford together uh, because together we are a dream team and we're going to figure something out. But seriously, all the best. Welcome home to Denver. Love you. Can't wait to come see you. Um, so that's that. So you guys can stop asking now. Yeah, Aaron is, Aaron is no longer here. Uh, he's no longer in Wisconsin. He's moved home. Um, but we're going to keep it going, and hopefully you guys stay with us and follow us on this journey. Like I said, we're going to do some more stuff. I haven't been able to go out because I've been under the weather, um, but I promise you this weekend I'll get out and about. Darren's going to come down here soonish. Um, he was supposed to come down originally today, but because of my illness he wasn't able to. Um, so he'll come down hopefully tomorrow. Um, I've got a lot of the bulk uh, packed up. I've still got one 5k, which is like 8k box to go through, and then hollows, rares, reverse hollow rares. I've still got to get through these trainers. Time is my enemy right now. Uh, I've got a lot of bulk coming in still, probably close to 100,000 cards. 
Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at DadjawDanny. I post fun pictures because I like to build stuff out of cards. Mostly towers and just stack them up as high as I can go. Uh, once I get like 100,000 cards stacked up, I'm going to Instagram something that shows it. I don't know. I don't know. I just do weird stuff because I'm weird. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, there's not much else going on right now. Uh, we're preparing for Berlin. We're preparing for Daytona. Daytona's expanded. Uh, Berlin is standard. The team's going to that. Uh, we hope to have Danny Altavilla on the cast this week. Um, and I'm going to be doing an interview with Caleb Gedimer and Danny Altavilla on Seagrove. Uh, if you don't follow Seagrove on YouTube, head on over to his YouTube channel. Check him out. That should go live sometime this weekend, I hope. I think... Uh, guys, stick with us. I know a lot of you have been messaging me, asking me questions about running a business and starting something like this. I am sorry if I'm taking a long time getting back to you. I've got a lot going on, but I promise I will get back to you. I was scrolling through messages today from people who messaged me last week that I finally started getting back to today. Uh, I will get back to all of you guys. I know it's a dream for a lot of people, and you can do it. And I know that it's competition. I really don't care. Uh, the more competition, the merrier. Uh, we're all in this together. We are a family together. Um, and we will grow together all the time. Yeah. Okay. I'm running out of stuff, so let's do our snack pack. I actually shot a pretend video. Lacey loves shooting videos. Um, so we're going to open Crimson Invasion again. Um, Lacey loves shooting videos so much. So I made a pretend video with her last night. And she pulled a Rainbow Rare Alone Executor off camera. So I don't know if there's going to be any other secret rares in this. Uh, but we'll look. Still look for that secret rare water energy. Um, I'm going to tell you about me getting scammed pretty soon, um, so pay attention to that because I made a really bad investment. Well, it was kind of a shot, shot in the dark, I guess. We'll see if it works, but that's a little bit of a spoiler. Here's the code for this guy. Nah, I can't do that. Uh, let's do four to the front. And then we've got a Grass Energy, Pilo Swine, Mill Tank, Counter Energy, Mistrevious, Chimeco, Carablast, Swablu, Pumpkaboo, Reverse Hollow was a Fighting Memory, and a Beedrill. That was boring. There's a pack of the day. There's a snack pack. Got them lying all over the place. What is going on in this studio? I can't even keep up. Guys, seriously, if this is your first time on the channel, or your third time, or your 18th time, and you haven't subbed yet, Smash that like button, hit that sub button. We're gonna keep growing together, guys. I love you very much. In the comment section below, say we miss Aaron. Uh, because I do miss him. Um, but we're gonna keep moving forward, guys. Love you a lot, and we'll see you next time. See ya!